If you're just getting started with Windows 10, you know that it looks somewhat different from previous versions of Windows. But I've found if you know a couple of key things about Windows 10, it's very user friendly. So today we're going to look at a couple of those things. First of all, we're going to look at search, how to find settings and programs within Windows 10. We're going to look at how to customize your start menu and the taskbar. And finally, how to add icons to your desktop. So first of all, let's take a look at search. Now, if you click on the start menu in Windows 10, you might find it difficult to find certain things, like for example, the control panel. Well, all you really have to do is start typing. And control panel comes up here at the top, and you click on it to open it. And that applies to just about any program or feature within Windows. For example, if you want to change the firewall settings, you don't even have to go to the control panel. You can just click the start menu, and start typing firewall. And here you have options related to the firewall. Same thing as if you wanted to change the desktop background. You just start to type it and there it is. Now you can see it automatically brings up results and settings and applications but you can also uh, click on these other options here to do the search in the Windows Store or on the web as well. The second thing you need to know how to do in Windows 10 is to customize your start menu. As you notice, there's a good many things already there, but if you're like me, a lot of these are ones you just don't use. And so you can easily get rid of them by just right-clicking and saying Unpin from Start. This doesn't actually remove the program or the app from your computer, and so you can still get to it just by searching for it, but a lot of these I don't use or have any interest in, so I'm just going to get rid of them. You can also position your mouse at the edge of the Start menu and click and drag it to change the size. The only ones I'm going to leave here are Microsoft Edge and the Weather app, which is kind of nice. If you go into the Weather app and set your location, it actually becomes a widget where it shows some of the current temperature uh, in this little box. The question is now, how do I add things to the Start menu? I've cleared out things I don't want, but now I want to add things that I do use into there. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the Start menu and then search for the item I want to add, like the Control Panel, and right-click and say Pin to Start. Now if we go back to the Start menu, we can see that that's been added. And you can move these around as well. I'm going to put just a couple of other items in the Start menu as well. And there it is. Let's also do... Google Chrome because I prefer to use that for web browsing. Also notice that when you right click on one of these you can also say pin to taskbar which puts it down here and again you can remove the items you don't want here by just right clicking and saying unpin this program from taskbar. Now there's also a task view icon here and if you don't use that you can just right click on the taskbar and you can take the check off of show task view button so that'll get rid of that. I also don't like the search here. You can always search just by clicking on the start menu and starting to type. So I don't like the search field taking up all the real estate on the taskbar. So you can right click on it and just go up to search and click hidden and it will go away. And then you have the whole taskbar available to put buttons there and to show you the running programs. Now one last thing when it comes to customizing the start menu. If you find you have lots of items and you want to make them smaller, you can right click and go to resize and make it small and then you can uh, fit them more easily in the start menu. The next thing that's different in Windows 10 is the process of adding icons to your desktop. Now some programs when you install them put the icons on the desktop but not all of them do. So if you want to add an icon just go to the start menu once again search for the program once you see it you have to right click on it and then say open file location. Now sometimes um, this menu may have a sub-menu that you have to go into to find this open file location depending on what build of Windows 10 you have. But go ahead and click on open file location and then once you get there you'll see the icon for Google Chrome and then you just right click and say send to desktop create shortcut and there you go. And you can do that on pretty much any application that you can search for in the start menu. Lastly, if you want to add the This PC or your Home folder to the desktop, you can click on the Start menu and just start typing icons. 
and you can see an option to show or hide common icons on the desktop and you can click that and I prefer to put computer and users files and control panel right on the desktop. So that's pretty much it. I think this little crash course will help you get off to a good start with Windows 10. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below and thanks for watching.